Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in the thumbnail, you have already seen what we are going to build today. That is the overlapping circle avatars. I was already getting a demand of this video because uh, you know how to work with circle avatars. But if you are building a social media app or any kind of app, we mostly have to build overlapping circle avatars, mostly in the profile section or uh, while comments, uh, drawing the UI of the comment section and all that, right? So first of all, over here in the main dot dot, I have defined a simple home and you can see that in the material app we just have home and you can define the theme over here if you want and in the home.dart file and yes all the code is given in the description you can check out the link and you can see that in the home.dart i have defined a scaffold just scaffold that's why it's all white over here now in the scaffold i'm going to define a simple app bar first and you can just save it you will get the app bar now let's define the body in the body i'm going to start with a container and I'll wrap this container with the center because I want to show you what I'm building at the center of my screen. So it will be wrapped with center. And in the container, I'm going to define a child and it will be a row. Define a row and define the children. Now, first of all, I'm also going to paste some links. They are not the links, they are just the image links that I've copied from internet. They are just a random people images so that we can show the person image uh, in the center of the circle avatar, right? So they are just the links. But if you're working with your own database, then you can uh, like wrap it with stream builders and future builders and show your database images inside that circle avatars. But yeah, this is static. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a for loop for int i is equal to zero, i less than random images dot length so it's a list so it is going to iterate through my list i plus plus perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to return an align so it is going to return an align and align is going to have a width factor so how much width uh, factor so i'm going to show you what is what is the meaning of this width factor it's basically how much you want to overlap one circle avatar by the another circle avatar right so let's define 50 percent so 0.5 so this is all set. Now, as a child to this, I'm going to pass a circle avatar and it will have a background image and background image will be nothing but uh, it will be a network image. So define network image and URL will be coming from random images at I. Perfect. So let's just save it and let's see. So I'm getting this circle avatars. Now what you're going to do is first of all, uh, like define a parameter main access alignment and make this at the center so you can see it's at the center now now define the radius of the circle avatar so i'm going to define the radius as uh, 50 so let's just save it and you can see these are overlapping but it looks ugly because i am not able to distinguish between one circle avatar uh, right by the another circle avatar so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this circle avatar with another circle avatar now you are going to see the magic right so this is how we are going to improve our UI. You need to improve the UI. You can't just give this kind of stuff. Okay, so we are wrapped with another circle avatar. Now give the parent circle avatar another radius of 60 and define the background color as colors.white you can give or you can give colors.transparent, right? So you can see that now our circle avatars are perfectly distinguished, right? There is no such uh, confusing overlapping. It's all clear now, right? So if you have the background as black, you can give the color as black. If you have it or some other color, you can directly give it transparent and you will be safe, right? Okay, uh, but yeah, it may happen that if you give transparent, then there is no effect. So just try to give the color of the background, right? Which you have the color as a scaffold color, right? This is all set. Now what I'm going to show is uh, after this uh, circle avatar row, there is always one button which is of plus icon. So you can add more members or you can add one more comment, right? If you are building a comment UI. So for that, what you need to do is just wrap this row with another row, right? So you can see this is my green row, green uh, brackets row. So this is all my circle avatars. Now after this, define one sized box, give the width as let's say 20 and define another circle avatar and give the radius as the radius of the other circle avatar that is 50 and you can give it a child and give the child as an icon icon will be icon start add so icon start add and just save it so i can see it over here now what you need to do is just give uh, some more sized box width okay this is all good and give the background color as colors dot gray dot shade 200 and shade 200 does not work let's give it 300 Okay, now it's visible 
and what you can do is just just give another parameter to the main parent row as main access alignment dot center perfect so this is all good now i hope you got this concept and if you want to connect with me you can follow me on linkedin and instagram and you can also join my discord group the link will be in the description you can find the code of this video as a github gist and the link is in the description i hope you liked it till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot